I realize I've been talking a lot about surveillance as of late, but today I want to discuss um, surveillance and having a client dictate the surveillance. The only thing your should client should be dictating as far as surveillance would possibly be the number of hours or when they want you to stop or start the surveillance or where they want you to stop and start the surveillance. If you're going to be calling your client with updates every hour, you're making a big mistake. If your client's going to have your cell phone number or your investigator's cell phone and they um, then decide that they want to um, get and interfere and be in the way. Um, you know, when it comes to domestic surveillances, I don't give them the report until the next day. I don't tell them anything that night. <clears throat> I might even wait till the next afternoon. I don't want to tell them where, where, they, where we are because I don't want them to show up. Even when it comes to workman's comp surveillances and stuff like that, Generally, if I'm sending a client photos or if I'm texting them or talking to them, then I'm distracted and, you know, they've dictated what happens to the surveillance. You know, if you get a surveillance, you ask them, what time do you want me to start? What time do you want me to finish? If they don't move by a certain time, I will be glad to check in with you. Um, but I'm certainly not going to um, let you dictate, you know, where I sit, how I do my job, how I take pictures. I will ask you, do you want pictures every hour, every half hour? Do you not want pictures if you don't see anything? You know, certain things like that. They can dictate the scope of your assignment, um, but they should not be dictating how you do your job. Uh, and when they dictate how you do your job, then you look like the bad guy. Another thing as far as, um, you know, letting a client dictate the surveillance, um, you don't let them tell you you have to knock on the door as a pizza delivery person or a flower delivery person to see if somebody's home. That's the worst thing you can do. Because then they're going to see you walk back to your car and sit there again for three hours. Never, ever, 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 ever do that. I mean, I know people that do that just to see if they're home. Um, but, you know, <laughs> you go and get back in your car, then you're, you're, you're screwed. I hate to tell you that. I mean, unless you have a two-man surround, somebody knocks on the door, and then you, that person leaves, great. But never, ever, ever let a client dictate your surveillance. Because if you do, you're not going to be successful in the surveillance industry. I have three to four people a week doing 40 to 60 hour surveillance. I think we know what we're doing. So obviously if you have any questions about surveillance, feel free to reach out to me or any type of investigations. I'm happy to listen. Um, I'm mentor to many uh, new, new investigators and process servers in the industry. So feel free to reach out to me. Again, this is Harris Investigations. You can reach us at www.harrisinvestigations.net, 888-484-9827. Have a great day.